three people on. What's up guys? My name's Trevor and there's Cohen back there. Welcome back to the I Arctic Vet me. YouTube channel. Dude, come on, you're a pizza man. There's a guy crossing the road. Go ahead, bud. That is just ridiculous. Guys. Guys, look. So anyhow, today look, guys. Cohen. Do you want to tell him what happened last night, Bubba? What happened? What did you do to your lip? Uh, and I hit on my dick on a stairs and we got a hospital. Yep, so. And I got a shot. He got a shot, he did. <laughs> this, this little guy right here did so amazing that, honestly, I don't know that I would have done the same because, uh, he and, and that doctor like they're dog ready. Yeah. And I like lying. And it really hurt. It really hurt. So Cohen had come inside and he, I swear one of his brothers was with him, but they weren't. And um he come inside and he goes He's crying, and you know, he's got that cry that, hey dad, something's wrong. Something is really, really wrong. And so I'm like, uh oh, what's going on? And I see, and all I see is blood, and I just see a lot of blood, and I'm like, oh no, you know, gotta keep my cool, gotta make sure that he knows it's okay, that he's fine, nothing is wrong, and it'll be all right. And so, I'm trying to keep my cool and maintain everything and uh, I see his lip and his lip right here is is cut and I mean it's just dangling like we can't really see it now it's all stitched up but there you go you guys get a nice view of it right now and so I'm like oh boy all right we gotta go to the hospital we need to go right now <laughs> so so I grabbed a rag, got it wet, told him to just hold it there. You know, that's going to help stop the bleeding, help it not bleed as much. Because here's the thing. When you bust a lip, it's going to bleed. And it's going to bleed a lot. And when I mean a lot, I'm like, it was down his face. And I was kind of like, oh no, I hope that's the only thing. I hope it's just your lip because that's all I could see. That's all he gave me a chance to see, right? And he's crying. I'm like holding him like, it's all right, Bubba. So we get to the ER. And a huge shout out to my mom uh, and Justin because they were, boom, they were right there. I said, hey, I need to meet you guys at the ER. Met me there. And they, they took Dora and they, they took uh, the two other brothers and got them taken care of. And I went in with Cohen. And, uh, man, it was, it was crazy. But we get in there and... He's he's calm at this point. He's not crying anymore. And you know, nurse, come, can I see it? He lifts up his little rag and shows them. And <laughs> and doctor comes in and wants to see it. Grabs some gloves, you know, and starts touching it. And he's still just being cool, like, ow, you know, nothing more than that. Just ouch. <laughs> Doing great. And doc says, all right, we're gonna give you a shot. And, and I kid you not, guys, he holds my fingers. And he, he doesn't squeeze them. He's just literally just holding my fingers. And he watches this shot go into his thigh. And as soon as they start pushing it down to inject the stuff to help him go to sleep, and because it's on his lip, and so it's easier to put him to sleep and get that stitch put in. And as soon as he does that, he just started crying. He's crying, but he wasn't, he didn't flinch, he didn't move. I do hear that noise. He did amazing. Anyways, be right back. Alright, we had to pick up some medicine for another brother. 
And uh, for RD. Yep, for RD. So. For and bad toe. Yeah, for his bad toe. So anyhow, he gets the shot and does great. Uh, he just does great. And so it took about it took about ten minutes or so for him to actually fully fall asleep, but. He, he fell asleep and then it was it was go time. It was all right, let's get the stitch in. Doc got that stitch in and it was all done. And that was it. And then it came down to, all right, well, Cone, we gotta wake you up. Hey, Bubba. And you know, we're trying to wake him up. And at one point, it, like uh, we thought, we thought he was gonna be awake and ready to go. And uh, so we, you know, we got a little excited. We're like, "Yeah, sweet! This is this is gonna be great." That was that was a quick process. Well, I want to stop in for us. All right, tell him. And I got band aid. You got what? A band aid. A band aid. You got a band aid. Like um. On your thigh, where they gave you that shot. And so. So this first time, can they see it? Yeah. Oh man. So the first time he woke up and we thought we were getting ready to go home, all the nurses are coming in and oohing and on over him, right? But you see it. Yes, I can see it. And so they're oohing and on over him. Why don't don't jump in? Hang on, Bubba. What are you going to show him? Three. Three. Okay, you got it? Yeah. Nice. You ready? Here. Let me see. There. Okay. I got all back. Yeah, you showed him? Awesome. Way to go, Bubba. I he showed him the band-aid so that's where he shot where he got a shot and anyhow all the nurses were oohing and on and man you could have you could have would have thought that he had won like the most handsome guy award or the most handsome award because all of them were just in in awe and it was it was so adorable and that's a really cool motorcycle for sale but we're not buying a motorcycle <laughs> So anyhow, and they they stayed in there and tried to help help wake him up and get him going and he just he wasn't having it. So we just waited and waited and then then the shift came the shift change came and so you know we had a, a new doctor come in and a new new nurses and our the nurse that when we got there she stayed in the room with us the entire time. And I told her, I was like, I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because she hung out with us and the, the whole time. And she had, you know, a 12 hour shift. And I was like, man, this is, I bet we're pushing it. And so by the end of this, we had ended up being in there for a full seven hours and when I say full seven hours I mean he literally slept for probably six and a half hours <laughs> because it wasn't 30 minutes for them to get that stitch stitch in so we just we had to wait for him to fully wake up to stand up to walk around move around start talking and once he was able to do that we were able to go home and so it made it made for a really really long night and daddy was a trooper and i stayed up i, I stayed up with you watching you looking at you making sure you knew i was there because you know sometimes he would wake up and daddy 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 and it, i was like i'm right here bubba and you know just needs that and so when they when they put you to sleep like that you're not you're asleep but you're not really asleep you're not getting like quality sleep and so you're still aware of what's going on around you. And so the comfort of me being there and holding his hand and making sure he knew that daddy was right there with him, he, he was fine. And 
man, I tell you what, it, it honestly it tore my heart up. I was I was the little boy crying too. <laughs> it it made my my heart a little softer. And uh, all ended well. He's he's doing better now. We got us some rest today. We we missed out on some some videos and some uh, timing, but you know what? Our lobby. The, yeah, that's where they played football, huh? Yeah. God has God has a plan. God's timing, and I honestly believe that that night that him and I were meant to be there in that in that hospital because it was. I tell you, it was not an easy night for those nurses, doctors, for those police officers because there was, it was pretty hectic. And I don't want to go into it much, but it was, it was crazy. And so I, every one of them that I seen, I was like, you know what? I appreciate you. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. Because, man, I, I just wanted to be sure that they all knew that they were appreciated and that they're doing a great job. Because, man, that's, that's some hard stuff. Some of the things you see and hear in there is, it, it's not very good. And so I was very glad to be able to try and help boost their, boost their spirits a little bit. So I think, I think we did. I think his cuteness helped out. And I think me being appreciative and expressing my appreciation to them really helped out a bunch. So I just want to give a give this little story out there for Cohen, so that you know later in life he can be like, "Yeah, look, I beat my brothers to get the stitches." And so now we're gonna pick up some lunch because we're out running some errands. So, yep, here we go. Let's get us some food. All right. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up. Make sure to drop some comments down for Cohen down there. Let him know how, how brave and how strong he was. He did wonderful and I kept telling him like, Bubba, Die you need to be boy. proud of yourself. So, Die. smash that subscribe button. We got some guys working out here at Freddy's. Don't forget to ring that bell. And ring that bell. And have a wonderful day. God bless and we'll catch you in the next oh, one. Our dog, dog. Oh, tell him. I don't, don't work in. I, I don't know why I don't work in. You don't know why they're working? Yeah. It looks like they're fixing a line. Oh, yeah. Yeah.